Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from pair of linear equations in two variables chapter. Two candles of same height but different thickness is lighted. First one burns off in 6 hours and the second one burns off in 8 hours. How long after lighting both will the first candle be half of the second candle? So let us try to understand this question by using a rough figure first. So here two candles are shown that is the first candle and the second candle. So both have been lighted. Now the height of both the candles are same. So both the candles have been assigned the height as H. And I have considered the first candle to be of lesser thickness because it burns off in 6 hours as mentioned in the question. And the second one is a bit thicker than the first one because it takes longer to burn off. Now once we have done this, let us write down the details of the candles one by one. Starting with the first candle. So we have written here, let the height of the first candle be h units and the time taken to burn completely is 6 hours. Which means in 6 hours, the total candle burns down. So for 1 hour, how much does the candle burn? So here we are going to make use of cross multiplication that is 1 multiplies with h. So we write h here and 6 divides this h. So height of the candle burnt after 1 hour is h over 6 units. Similarly, now think that if we take 2 hours, so in 2 hours we have to find out how much has the candle burnt. So it becomes just 2 times h divided by 6. So likewise you can take 3 hours, 4 hours and so on. So let us generalize this time as t hours. So in place of 2, I am going to put t. So here let us find out how much does the candle burn in t hours. So here in place of 2, we have to just replace so it becomes t times h over 6. So here we have written height of the candle burnt after t hours is t times h over 6 units. Next let us find out what is the remaining height of the candle. Now here a rough figure of the first candle is drawn. So the total height of the candle is h and here we have got that t times h over 6 is the height it has burned down. So let me write here t h divided by 6. So the height of the remaining candle is going to be the total height minus the height it has already burnt. So it's going to be h minus t times h divided by 6. So remaining height of the candle to be burnt in time t is going to be h minus t times h divided by 6. And let us consider this as equation 1. Now the exact same steps we are going to follow for the second candle which burns out in 8 hours. So let me write here. So for the second candle also the height was same as the first candle. So let the height of the second candle be h units. And the time taken to burn down completely by the second candle was 8 hours. So using the approach we used for the first candle we can write here. In 8 hours the total height of the candle burns down. Then for 1 hour how much does the candle burn? So here again h multiplies with 1 so we get h and 8 divides this h. So the height of the candle burnt in 1 hour is going to be h over 8. Similarly, let us find out what is the height of the candle burnt in t hours. So height of the candle burnt after t hours is going to be t times h over 8 units. Now these steps are same as that of the first candle, only the hours are changing in the steps. So finally we are going to write the remaining height of the candle. So the remaining height of the candle to be burnt in time t is the total height h minus the height it has already burnt that is t times h over 8 and let us consider this as our equation 2. Now in the question it was mentioned that the height of the first candle should be half the height of the second candle. So let us frame an equation here. So first candle's remaining height is equal to 1 over 2 times second candle's remaining height. Now here the first candle's remaining height we had got in equation 1 which was h minus t times h over 6 is equal to 1 over 2 times second candle's remaining height was h minus t times h over 8 from equation 2. Now let us simplify this that is taking 2 on the other side of equal to sign we get 2 multiplies with h giving us 2h and 2 multiplies with t times h giving us 2 times t times h over 6 equal to on the right hand side we have h minus t times h over 8. Now let us further simplify this 2 from the numerator divides 6 from the denominator that is 2 1 times and 2 3 times is 6 and let us gather the like terms on one side of the equal to sign 
that is taking h on the left hand side and th over 3 on the right hand side we get 2h minus h is equal to minus th over 3 becomes plus th over 3 minus th over 8. Now 2h minus h gives us h is equal to now let us take the common LCM that is multiplying the first term in the numerator with 8 and also the denominator with 8. Similarly the second term we are going to multiply by 3 and the denominator also by 3. So we get here 8th minus 3th divided by 8 times 3 is a common denominator so we get 24 as a denominator. Now let us further simplify this that is 8th and 3th are like terms so we get 5th. So here we get h equal to 5th over 24. Now h and h from both the sides divide each other. So taking 24 on the other side of the equal to sign and phi on the denominator we get 24 which multiplies with 1 and 5 goes to the denominator dividing 24. So we get 24 over 5 equal to t or we can just change it into decimals that is t is equal to 4.8 hours. So this is the time taken by the first candle to reach half the height of the second candle. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.